Would I buy a Cybertruck? We are giving this car back to the original owner. So I figured we might as well clean it up. It is time to say goodbye to the Cybertruck. We've had it for a couple of weeks up here in snowy Utah. It is snowing again right now. Zach has filmed some awesome videos and I'm not sure if they're out yet as the time of this. Part of your video, spoiler alert. Yeah. It's dirty. <laughs> it's dirty, man. Take a look at the inside. Dude. Oh, oh. Luckily, it's those are rubber mats, so you can just take them out and spray them off. So there's like the truck itself is not dirty. It just looks dirty. You legit went off-roading. Uh, just like a dirt road. Nothing like crazy, like crawling or anything. Nothing just, broke. Just dirty off-road. Nothing really broke on Nothing it? Broke. Nothing broke. Promise. Nothing broke. Nothing broke. <laughs> this actually looks pretty clean. Oh, a little bit of dust up here. I mean, Look at this. That is gonna be a tough thing to clean for people. I mean, I've got really long arms and look at this. I literally can't reach the end of it. That's how long that is. I think I drove almost 800 miles in this. I slept in it. Would I buy it? I'll let you know. All right, let's get this thing clean first. All right, we are uh, cleaned off pretty much. The outside is sprayed down, but look at the inside. That is looking better. So much cleaner. This thing was super, super dirty. Like I'm scared to even get inside of it because I don't want to get it dirty. It is like brand new quality clean. Here's what I want to do. My friend has a robot with a camera on it. Let's see if we can get some shots of the Cybertruck now that it's clean on the inside. The problem is, I don't know how we're going to drive this in here. How do we get this truck over to there? Funny thing is next week, Corey's new studio that fits cars easily will be open, but we gotta get the Cybertruck back. So this is the studio we have. I did not see that happening. This guy, when he has a vision, nothing's gonna stop him. I can't believe we fit through here. Nothing broke yet. And there's a truck. All right, you guys wanna see what we've been working on? Well, when I say we, I mean, what Corey's been working on for the last hour, he's been working to tighten up one move. One move. It's a lot harder when you hit something, it's a $100,000 Tesla. I'm gonna show you the robot as it does it. It's gonna start from over here and it's gonna come all the way to the end. So this is the shot of what it looks like behind the scenes. Oh wait, there we go. It is filming it. That was the shot. I'm gonna put in right here what that looks like. It looks so good. The angles on this are just money. Can we get the robot to fit inside of through the window? You're on the outside? Yeah. Yep, keep going. Camera's going in. You good? Yep, we're good. Yep. Oh, the top part, you're still good? I mean, to be real here, this camera and this setup is a lot more expensive than this truck, but I'd rather not hurt any either one of them. Now we're gonna try to do an Austin Powers move, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until we can hopefully get it pointing forward so that we get a forward shot and then just drive the thing out of here. I have very big doubts that this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> that was awesome. That took 13 minutes. <laughs> wow. Corey does shoots for really, really big companies. Obviously, Tesla is not paying him for this. This is just like, let's see what shots we can get. And the shots are incredible. And it's all real, it's not CGI. If you gave him like 
a few days to plan and prep and have the robot ready and you spent an entire day filming. A little bit bigger space probably. It could be the most amazing commercial ever, but hey, we had the truck free tonight, not doing anything. Amazing. Oh, we did it. Amazing, Corey. How did we do this? Oh, we made a mess, that's how we did it. <laughs> if you have a company and you want to make some sort of commercial and make some awesome cinematic stuff, I'm gonna put a link in the description to his company. You can check it out. And I told you that I was going to let you know what I think, will I buy a Cybertruck? And maybe the most unique car on the entire road. Honestly, it is super cool. It's amazing. There's so many things that I like about it. There's also some things I don't like. I really don't like this steering wheel. Like, just make it round. It takes a long time to charge the battery. It really does, and I don't think version four superchargers are going to change that. I also don't like that there's no screen right here. This is a $100,000 vehicle. I wanna see the heads-up display. I wanna see how fast I'm going. I wanna see the maps right here. I don't wanna look over on this screen like the Model 3 and the Model Y have. And also, $100,000. I would love to spend around $40,000 for a Tesla Model 3 over this. I don't like that it doesn't have autopilot right now. It'll have it at some point, but it doesn't have autopilot and I absolutely love autopilot. And I'm not talking about FSD beta. I have that also. I don't use that around town. I'm talking about on the highway going 80 miles an hour and the car is driving on the highway for you. I absolutely love that and this doesn't have it. For me and my family, I don't need a cyber truck. Not because it's not a great truck, because it is. It is very, very cool. I'm glad that we were able to test it out this last few weeks, and I hope that if you guys want one, that you get one and you're able to get one, and that you absolutely love it, because this thing is a beast. All right, I gotta return this back home because the guy that owns it is coming in in the morning to drive it all the way home to Texas. Thanks for watching all the Cybertruck videos. Super fun. I can't wait to get in one again. And look at this, we got people everywhere. Like, I honestly can't sit at a place for too long and film before all these people just roll on up on me and start, start like filming me. And that's another negative. I honestly don't like all the extra attention. You're gonna be like, you're a YouTuber, you got attention. I do get enough attention and I love it. I love talking to people. They're so great. They watch the videos, they learn from it. Like the guy on the road trip that was like, I bought a Tesla because of you. That's right, what's inside family? That's right. I got it to you. No way. Yeah, and I was like, I want to tell some stuff. Thank you. <laughs> no so way. Great. I love that kind of stuff. And I love making people laugh and teach people things. But I don't need people to go like, look at that guy. He's so cool because he's got the Cybertruck. And to be fair, like we just had a ginormous house that's kind of like, look at me. We also have a lot of nice cars. We have nice things that are look at me. This one's just a little bit over that line of look at me that I'm just not fully comfortable with it. So there's my thoughts. Super fun the last few weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope these shots were great that Corey did. I'm sure they were. It was a ton of fun. All right, we'll see ya. Zach has officially moved away from my phone. It's really sad, but there you go. Happy day. <laughs> and maybe the most unique video on the, these guys are honking. <laughs>